On the Business Courier front page centerpiece, so long cubicles. From startups to corporate titans, the new trend in where and how we work is all about wide open spaces. Dunhumby USA, for example, recently unveiled designs for its new headquarters under construction at Fifth and Race downtown. The inside will be missing one thing that most of us know well cubicles. That's because workers at the consumer science firm reportedly only spend about 30% of their time at their desks. And Scripps recently emptied and gutted four floors to create a more collaborative workspace in its downtown corporate headquarters. The, one of the goals of a project like this is to, is to have a uh, what I call a wonderfully destabilizing event. And it was definitely destabilizing for our employees, you know, creating a, a completely different work environment than we had in the past. So the, the flow is different, the feel is different, the music's a little different, uh, all the other sounds are a little bit different. So the, the employee response has been, has been very, very good, but it has not been uh, entirely easy for everybody. Uh, because we did so disrupt their lives. An assistant professor at UC's College of Design, Art, and Architecture and Planning says workspace like this is the future. Stephen Slaughter teaches a course called Workplace of the Future. He says the change is in part a response to younger workers who have a different relationship with technology and the way they interact. For an inside look at some other local companies creating these wide open spaces, be sure to read the print edition or visit our website.